We were supposed to be here six months, and uh, Hendrik was, uh, you know, working for SNV in Chemdan. And we were just, you know, normal people who loved animals, who had dogs and cats at home. And, and you know, there were a need for a lot of dogs to be helped. And then you take one and two and three and ten and twenty, and then you need to get organized when you have twenty dogs, it's not ten dogs. So we just had to get organized. And, you know, before even you knowing it, you become the place where people bring their dog. Because people know about you. Oh, the Chilimpa, Lochi Ama. She's bringing the dog, she's taking care of the dog. Oh, I mean, get you more. That's how the, the name came up. Because they didn't know my name and, uh, you know, so that was, that was it. In Buddhism, you have to, we have to respect nature and, and everything. So it's people save trees, people save flowers, a species of plant, an animal, uh, handicapped people, whatever, whatever you feel there is an injustice, you can be empowered to find a way to help and to raise awareness. And it doesn't, you don't need to be a Chilingpa, you don't need to be a rich Dasho, you can be a simple farmer who every day brings a little bit of food to the dog around the corner, become friendly with him, try to give a phone call to the local animal's boundary. I have this dog there, he needs to be sterilized. We need to do something. So everybody is empowered. So we are just normal people. We are just very lucky that we have a job, that we have money, that in Bhutan it's not so expensive compared to the West. In the West we could never have that. But we have enough so we can give more and we ask our friends and family and our Bhutanese people came to help in giving us vegetables and fruit and tables and towels and blankets and, and then the costs are getting lower and lower and we can do more and more. So it's really everybody can start or join. So if there is something that which is important, I think in the message, as you say, this dog, BBS, BBS boy is here and has a new, new chance in life. I think people have to understand that themselves, if they step in for the trees, for the dogs, for the handicapped, for the blind, for justice, for love and peace, they have a new chance as a new life as well. Their life is going to be so meaningful. They will suddenly see, yes, this is what the Buddha meant by a step to enlightenment. This is this consciousness of, I am not the middle of my life. My life is made with the connection I build all my life and the people I meet. And, and this is just, it's not a revelation, but it's, I think it's a step on the middle path to suddenly reach a, a, a consciousness, a supra-consciousness, I think we are all connected. And once you feel it, once not only you, you know it's the truth, but once you, you know it in the molecule that I'm connected with that one, their suffering becomes your suffering. 